We are not just so excited that Real Housewives of New Jersey is back in our lives to watch, but Evan, we gotta celebrate something else. Oh my god, yeah, Marge and Lexi are in studio and we are having a We're little so soiree party. This is their new mocktail line that they just launched. Perfect timing with uh, the season premiere. I know, and just ending up dry January, so uh, we're so excited. We're ready to uh, soiree our way. I yes. tried dry January, and it didn't work out, and I think it's because I didn't have soiree <laughs> in my life. Honestly, there's not great options out there. And so I was like, if I'm gonna like drink like a juicy, fruity something, like I'm gonna put vodka in it. But this is great because <laughs> it tastes yes. delicious. I'm doing the margarita, and the sugar, it, there's not a lot of sugar. No, in no, no. It's yeah. like it's nine grams of sugar only. It's naturally sweetened. It's all real juice, and the whole thing is only forty-five calories that for tw amazing. twelve ounces. I did not realize that part. We and love that. Oh my god. You could and you could sip or spike, and yeah. that's the beautiful thing about this. We mm. want everybody to feel part of the party because you know I don't drink. I'm on a show that's known for drinking. You know my my girls love to cocktail it up, but I mocktail it up, and Lexi likes to cocktail it up. I like to be a cocktail queen. She's a mocktail queen. Uh -huh. It's perfect. Yeah, so what kind of made you guys be, because you guys work together on so many different things, you have so many things going, what made you be like, you know what, I think we can add a little bit more to the never-ending buffet of your busyness? Yes, exactly. Well, this is so authentic to us because for the longest time we've partied together and I've been able to order the most fun things and poor Marge is sipping on a nice tea. Yes. So it was time to do something so that everyone could party together. Yeah, and I wanted something that I could have an elevated palate with interesting flavors. Mm -hmm. Like this, the cool breeze is cucumber, elderflower, mint, and lychee. And so it's like there was nothing like that that I could ever drink when I go out. Everything was like so boring. I mean, how many Diet Cokes could I order with lemon? Did you test it out with your castmates? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Because you know why? How do I know that? I think some of them would be completely honest, and I think some of them would try and you know just squash it just to be evil. Oh, we don't. We don't love that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I won't say who. Okay. Now, Marge, do you ever drink, or do you just kind of like to stay lucid during filming? Like, what is your relationship with drinking? I don't have an issue with alcohol. I've okay. never had an issue with drinking. Growing up with, you know, Marge Senior, she was a little bit of a, a drinker, so that turned me off. And then when I wanted to have a drink. I would get horrible headaches. I don't enjoy drinking. Mm. I don't like the feeling. I like to stay lucid. I don't want to wake up with a headache. But of course, I want to enjoy the party and I want to drink something that's fun and tastes good. So that's really where soiree came out of. Yeah. It's also funny too. I feel like a lot of people try to, like, they'll drink to have more fun. And I feel like they drink to almost be like the Marge sober. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm I'm a natural party anyway. Yeah. I really don't need yes. to drink. And the, and being with, you know, on the show and everything else, I want to remember everything. I want to stay lucid. I don't need liquid courage. I have too much courage as it is. <laughs> right. Yeah. Then meanwhile, Lexi can just get hammered if she'd like. She yes. doesn't have to remember a thing. She, she doesn't. Because there's no reunion to prepare for. No. I could do whatever I want, but I do have you to get me home at night. Yes, so I could good. drive her home. I could <laughs> always drive her home. I love your dynamics so much. And it's so great whenever Lexi pops up on the show. But I feel like fans don't really know the full story, how you guys met, how you have outlasted marriages I together. Know. Can you just tell us about your history? I mean, you could probably write a book about it. Yes, we to totally can. We talked, Go ahead, I Lex. mean, it truly was like love at first sight. Um, yeah. I was introduced to Margaret through Polly, who you saw when we went to Oklahoma. Polly's brother works with my aunt, and he said, you have to meet my sister. She in turn introduced me to Margaret, and it was like a vision. It was in her trade show booth in New York, surrounded by prints and patterns, exactly like you see the house. <laughs> it was exactly yes. the vision of the Marge. <laughs> Boobs, pigtails, and lashes. Yes. Exactly who she is today yeah. is exactly who what she you was see then. What you get. Yes. yes, and I, I met Lexi, and I'm like, oh my God, this girl's the thinner, taller, blonder, British version of me. <laughs> She's so adorable. She must come work for me. She be, immediately became part of the family, traveled with us, literally did every single thing with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, Joe had given Lexi Wade her wedding. Huh? I couldn't be me without Lexi. She oh. has uh, changed my life. What's the best part about working with each other? We, I think we complement each other mm -hmm. in the best way because Margaret is the ultimate yes girl, and I could be the <laughs> ultimate no girl. Oh. So between us, we I never balance no. each other out nicely. Why do I feel like you would be the most ruthless housewife? In a like, you oh. could you could get some people Ooh, information. Girl. Ruthless <laughs> is not even. I think it's the Manchester roots coming from England. I feel like we don't. Everyone thinks we're so prim, proper, and perfect, but we're ruthless animals. So <laughs> hence why I'm not a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> but have there been moments? Because like obviously you're around so much when filming. Are there moments where you're like, oh? 
I need to bite my tongue and leave the room. Mm. So many, mm -hmm. so many. It's so hard. Margaret's not just like someone I work with. She's not just someone I'm around. She's like my sister. Yes. We, there's a deep love and a deep bond. And it's really hard to watch other people behave inappropriately towards someone you love so much and just act like it's okay. Yes. I feel like you probably give really great advice on how to handle some of this conflict. What is the best piece of advice Lexi has given you in terms of like how to navigate the drama with the ladies when you feel a little lost? I think Lexi always tells me, you know, how to put it in perspective. Because listen, sometimes I get very, very upset about it because people think that I'm so tough because because I am strong, because I've been in business a long time and I, and I don't crumble very easily. Mm -hmm. But I am upset at home sometimes. Lexi's like, Margaret, we have a beautiful life. You have, we have everything. You have a business, you have all these things. You can't let these things affect you. She grounds me, she balances me out. And always he says is just like, look at everything we have in our life. And I go, Lex, you're so right. And she goes, people who are so obsessing over you, they don't have anything. They don't have what we have. And I go, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. They don't have what you have. And no one has your accent. No, <laughs> no one. No I don't one. think anyone wants it, truthfully. Uh -huh.